Well, ISIS's declared capital of their so-called caliphate is in Mosul, Iraq. I've just spent the last two weeks living uh, just a couple of kilometers from the front line, documenting the daily terror that's being inflicted on innocent civilians in that city, as well as the story of volunteer medics who are trying to save their lives. This mosque in West Mosul, Iraq, was until just a couple of months ago, ISIS world headquarters. The sounds in the near distance a constant reminder of the ongoing battle to squeeze out ISIS from their current stronghold in the old city not so far away. This sniper's nest is where ISIS fighters would perch, picking off soldiers and civilians trying to flee, their spent and unused ammo left behind. This room, where we slept alongside soldiers from the Iraqi Special Operation Forces, was the ISIS strategy room. The room we sleep in is uh, it's where they used to hold daily meetings. Um, is a bit odd, I guess. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, at this point, I'm fairly used to it, but to take a step back and think that you know, the bad guys used to spend all their time in the room that we sleep in. They used to hang out on the same rooftops as us it's, and be right where I am right now. It's, it's a little bit weird. From the roof, we can see the famed ISIS-controlled mosque in the old city with the leaning minaret, where the terrorists declared their Islamic State Caliphate, an area that has come under intense airstrikes, RPGs and artillery fire from Iraqi and coalition forces. I'm about two kilometers from the front lines of West Mosul, and you can see right behind me here uh, some of the smoke from the airstrikes and mortar strikes that have been almost constant. In fact, we just heard one now. The battle for Mosul means a steady stream of injured, dying and dead to this abandoned mosque turned makeshift trauma stabilization point. This is where Iraqi soldiers and civilians wounded on the front line get treatment from local medics and international volunteers before they're taken by ambulance to the nearest hospital. This is like the daily log that I keep of the number of patients and casualties we've had. A sniper shot to the head or like this little kid had like his arm blown off. Newly liberated areas have been turned into apocalyptic ghost towns as life tries to return to normal in neighborhoods now free of ISIS. And as the battle rages, medics at the mosque have lost count of the damage. Done. No matter what you do, it's going to stick with you. I just thought of like 20 images of just really f patients, uh, especially kids. Uh, I don't know, I've forgotten thousands of patients at this point, uh, deliberately. Tomorrow there's going to be more, and the day after that, and the day after that. And we saw a horrifying array of injuries caused by ISIS fighters who are systematically killing civilians who try to flee. And many Iraqi soldiers were treated for bomb blast injuries as well as sniper fire.